Hello, people. Um, not really. I wanted to start this video. Um, this morning. Let me start from the top. Um, one of our close mates, mine and Becky's close friends, uh, a young lad, only I think 20, 21, something like that. Not to excuse the kids walking past. I'm just at time for play. Took some time out while the kids are in there to uh, do this video. Um, yeah, one of our close mates, Harry, uh, who, who uh, come with us, did the uh, Umber Bridge walk, um, has supported me and been, uh, you know, besides James, who sadly passed last year, um, he, uh, Harry has, has, has been an inspiration to me, part of my, my fight, you know, part of my support. And I was part of his support. Um, this morning, Becky got a text. He sadly passed away. This morning, I think it was this morning, maybe maybe last night. Um, so so I got told that pretty much as soon as I opened my eyes by Bex. Um, I don't quite know what to say on that. It's put a, a down one. A lot of, of my thoughts today, you know, I've been struggling with my mind already. Um, but this isn't about me. Well, it is, but at the same time, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Um, me and Bex, um, we, we bought him some, some Lego. Um, He's into like you know the 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 building proper building Lego, not the kids stuff. Um, and he just finished like Hogwarts and whatnot. So um, him and his family are, are very very close. So me and Bex said, look, you know, we're gonna go out and buy him some Lego. And, and I saw um, like a Lego rose kind of flower thing. So we bought it and give it to his mum to give to him. He got it, obviously, yesterday, um, while well, he was still maybe um, not the best, but he managed to start it. Um, and I sent him a message saying, look, you know, this present's for you. Um, I know you and your mum are super, super close, so when you've built it, maybe you could give it to her. <coughs> he didn't open the message. Um, I think he knew what I... Or we, me and Becky, was trying to do the kids and that, you know, on the front. I'll, po I'll post a picture of, of what I sent to him. We put on the front, Harry the Warrior. Um, Taylor signed it, Scarlett signed it, you know. A few nice little things for him. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where I am today. Um, it's hard to talk about myself when, when uh, you know, cancers and other things have taken someone that again was close just like James um, at one point we was just people that lived on the same street I knew him I've known him for years never really spoke to him but cancer brought us all closer um, in a strange way my situation and our situation the whole situation with with the, the big C has, has brought many 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 of us together I mean James you know he, he, he was from London, he ended up moving to uh, India with his family. And me and James got very, very, very close, you know, talking every day, you know, helping each other out, even on Instagram. He was he was doing his yoga stuff and, and whatever, and really fighting this fucking illness, disease, whatever you want to call it. Um, and ultimately, you know, it's too strong. It's too strong. And, um, you know, it takes the best of us. I feel very fortunate, you know, I'm still managing to do what I'm doing at the minute with the help of my family and all of you guys supporting me and Facebook, all the social media stuff. Um, I'm, I'm in a state of mind, I, I, I don't actually know myself. For the past fucking hell, couple of weeks, those of you who have watched my older videos know I've, I've struggled with 
um, alcohol, alcohol abuse, some substance abuse at times, um, and I managed to really kick, but it was mainly alcohol um, that I struggle with, and I managed to kick his ass. I stopped it completely, um, probably about two years ago now. I'd be here and there, and like I said in one of my older videos, um, when I got a stable results recently, that I had half a pint, almost a celebration, um, half, a, half a pint at a local pub that we go to, a restaurant pub. Um, and, norm, and, and the times before that I've had one or two down the line half pints, I've never really enjoyed it, and I've just I've had a couple of sips. And I've... My phone just cut off. Someone decided to try and ring me. Don't know who it was. As I was saying, this one, um, I quite enjoyed it. And I said to my kid, I was like, oh, you know, I didn't expect to enjoy that like I just did. Um, and it kind of was a bit of a, an avalanche from there that I didn't really see coming. Um, for the days or, or weeks after that, uh, my body or my mind, should I say, with the stress that comes with this, and and the the general crap that comes with 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 this whole thing that's going on, I found myself more and more wanting to turn to having a, a beer, a lager. And yeah, that's all well and good, you know, if you're not classed yourself as maybe uh, an alcoholic or or pre-alcoholic uh, dependency so um, you know I've, I've ignored it as best I can and trust me it has taken everything I've fucking got to, to not do it looking at my kids thinking you know I'm doing this for you as well as me I want to be here as long as I possibly can you know I, I want to beat this I, I want to beat this, not just for me, not just for the people watching me, not just to say that I did it. I want to do it because I want to grow old with my family. I want to die an old man. I don't want to die at 35, 36, or even fucking 40. I don't want to die then. Um, and I know this is, I, I, I hate videos that are a bit down and a bit, you know. But, um, like I said, with, with the news today about Harry... Poor bastard, you know. Um, it really drives home just how uh, we all know how serious it is. I don't know what the word is. Um, just how brutal this fight really, really is, and how um, maybe how fortunate I am to to to, to um, be as healthy. I, I don't know if that's the right word or. As active as, as uh, determined, I, I don't know. The, Harry was, was was very very determined. You know, he was he was a, he was a very close supporter of me. He was um, very strong, very dependent, and um, it just um, it, it comes as a shock. And, and like I said, I mean, although it's hard for me to explain because I'm so fucking numb. I'm, my, my mind and my body is is like uh, not responding how I'd expect it to. I don't even know the fucking word. And like, my, my, my head's just bollocks. Uh, fucking, I don't actually know how to explain it. Um, I mean, how do people deal with this? You know, whether it's a close family, whether it's a friend, whether it's someone that you know. It's uh, it's always hard, and and I don't quite know how I uh, feel myself. You know, of course, I'm I'm devastated for him and his family and 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 all that. I'm not. I don't mean it in that way. I just I don't know how to explain myself. Um, if that even makes sense, I can't, I, I can't, like, think properly. So, um, that's not how I wanted to start today. But of course, you know, I can't, uh, I'm not meaning it in a selfish way, 
but at the same time I've got to think about myself and keeping myself as good as I can be in here and deal with the things that I've got going on as well as, as, as the devastation that this has caused. Um, I, uh, I, I, like I said, I, I, people who have been watching for the for the past week or so or whatever, my last couple of videos, um, you would have seen that um, it's, I, I've been calling my videos, you know, the mental wobble, the mental payload, you know, all the sort of stuff that's really going on in my head because the physical side of it, don't get me wrong, it's still there. I still get pains. I still feel crap every day when I wake up. It's a fucking struggle to really... It's like a, an old car turning over or, or with a, a battery that's on its way out, you know, turning over slowly, slowly, slowly till, you know, the oil comes through and you get your fucking fuel comes through and finally it fires up. That's the best way I can explain how I am in the morning till everything gets moving. Boom, you know, the explosion in the combustion chamber. <laughs> I'm talking about mechanics here now, aren't I? But until that engine gets running, technically within me, I, I, I struggle like fuck. I, I, I do every day, it doesn't matter whether my kids wake me up, whether Becky wakes me up, whether. I, I just struggle. I really do struggle. Um, so, so now, I didn't really want to fucking feel this crap or I don't even know how I feel. I don't I don't know. Um so we're talking about this fucking absolute evil piece of shit cancer that it is. Um I've had a, a few people message me recently. One of them again being another one of my close friends, Paul. Um his wife has now been diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. <laughs> it's unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. So I, I talked to him a little bit. It's it's very hard to. Uh, in fact, I've spoke to to his wife as well. I won't name her. Um, I spoke to her as well, quite in depth about things and you know whatever else. Um, she's got to go through chemo and radio, as far as uh, I'm aware. I think that's what she said. I can't remember. Um, so obviously, you know, a part of off chemo or most chemos is you are going to lose your hair. And for a, a young woman, I mean, she's only I think she's a bit younger than me, maybe 34. She might be 35. I don't know. 34, 35, mid 30s. Um, that that's. For a, for a woman to, to lose a hair and potentially a breast or breasts, um, it's going to be devastating to, to her mental health. Of course it is. And this is why I've done so many things. With when, when I lost my hair and I walked through uh, Castle Hill and I've walked all over the place and I've, I've, I've kept it off purposely, even though I can't stand how this looks. You know, I'm used to having bloody stupid hairdos and whatever else. I've done it almost in support of for, for whether it's men, whether it's women, it, it doesn't matter. Um, because it, it does, even to me, it, it affected my mental health quite quite a lot. Although I didn't really sort of show it, and obviously the videos that I did with my dad, uh, when when I let my son and my daughter shave mine and my dad's hair off, you know, and it was that was almost like a, a sign to me to cancer of fuck you, I'm gonna have the last. Uh, and it's going to be me who does this, not cancer. Although it was falling out, I wanted to be the one that takes it. You know what I'm saying? You know that might make sense to some of you, and I, I hope it does because I, I'm trying to explain the best I can. <coughs> um, as well as that, there was um, there was a, a lady who also has LMS. I know. Yes, yeah, someone messaged me with LMS, uh, she brought me into a group and she's talking about it and stuff. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to bring some more um, content to, to my this YouTube. Um, raising awareness not only of cancer, of, of leomyosarcoma itself, which is obviously highly aggressive, um, muscle-based cancer. Uh, there will be more information on it because I'm sure she knows a lot more than I do. Um, obviously it's, it's mostly... Uh, 
uh, with women in the is it uterine 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 uh, whatever like, I don't know mostly women older women not middle aged blokes like me um, I also had another a message off um, some other lady who who messaged me she watching like these YouTube my YouTube videos and said um, she she had both of her breasts removed um, a full hysterectomy. Um, and some other bits I can't really remember um, because she was basically told that if she did or, or, or she was in line to, uh, to to have cancer you know whether it was um, hereditary or, or, or whether it was I can't remember what she, exactly what she said I'll have to have a look to clear that up if you're watching you know feel free to put it in the comments for people I'll pin it to the top um, so yeah, going going off all the other people and all the the, the cases that are coming round and, and and people watching these videos and sort of reaching out to me, um, it's absolutely fucking phenomenal that the cases of cancer, um, new new cases should I say, um, are, are on the increase massively. I mean, at one stage it was, was it one in four people would get cancer, now it's one in two. Like wow, what's caused that? As people, you know, if you've seen uh, when I was on Cannabis Health Radio Canada, uh, if you listen to that, I'll, I'll maybe try and find the link and put it in the description. Um, I said that the, um, what I believe is it caused mine, and now I'm led to believe it's causing all these other widespread ones, is, is the fucking COVID jab. It's an unpopular opinion, and people will fucking highly disagree with me. Some people will agree, some people won't. You know, I've I've got my own evidence and, or supporting evidence, should I say? You know, not that it fucking matters. You know, I'm in this situation regardless, and so are a lot of other people now. Um, I just find it very difficult to to get my head around the whole fucking matter, especially today. You know, I wanted to do a video last night, and um, by the end of it, I just I was so tired. I didn't I didn't bother. So, um, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm kind of glad that I didn't because it'd be me doing another one today where I'm, I'm maybe picking up and then I'm fucking straight back down. This is, the, this is another part of this thing is my mind is so jaggedy up and down. It's, it's my mind, or should we say the motherboard as I like to call it, which controls the rest of your body. Um, it's playing up like fuck. If you look at it in a, in a computer sort of sense, it's throwing all these fucking error codes up and my brain's fucking having a brain fart and the fucking, uh, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Um, so, uh, I don't fucking know. I just, it's just, it's so crap. Um, so going on to me on this, on this journey, um, as you all know, I'm on, I'm on a chemo break. I actually had my first shave the other day because I was getting a bit of bum fluff and it was quite soft, so I shaved it off. And now it's coming back a bit more rough than it should be. My hair is slowly coming back. It looks more grey than anything else. Um, but yeah, if it is, it fucking is, isn't it? So um, turning my attention away from the, the the sort of dark side of this today. Um, as you all saw throughout chemo I dropped down to seven stone fucking two or four or whatever it was I went up to nine six I think the last time that I got weighed um, and, and, I, and I said to you guys about it um, I weighed myself it was about a week ago with Bex um, and I was nine stone two so I've lost a couple of pounds, but, you know, you gain some, you lose some, you know, I'm still, I'm in an okay place, I think, right now. Um, I went to see the doctor, um, because I was having quite a lot of pain uh, a couple of weeks, well, maybe a week ago, um, in my sort of bladder area, you know, I'd wake up, and I, like I said before, I, I drink quite a lot on a night time. Um, whether it's water, whether it's juice, whatever it is. Um, and quite often I need to uh, go to the toilet for a wee. Um, every morning, as majority of people do, first thing you do is you get up, you go for a wee. 
you do whatever you need to do. Um, but I've been having some really like, oh, what's going on here? Some stabbing pains, or, or very severe like aching, horrible pains. Um, so yeah, I went to see the do me doctor. Um, I'm sure he watches these videos, so if you are, uh, I know the little things that you've said, he said, uh, indicate that, and, and I like that. I won't mention his name because uh, he's a good doctor. I like him on a personal basis as well as a professional basis. Very good person. Um, so the results from the last blood test that was done, which was my stable results, I believe. Um, I can't remember exact, so you got, I might get this wrong. Um, all different kinds of levels. Um, my liver at one point, I think he said, was like 3,000, whatever that is, which was supposed to be between like, was it 150 and 750? So clearly off the scale, along with a lot of others. Um, now, they're all very much coming down to still the top end of where they need to be, but they're, they're all coming down. Obviously, that's probably due to being off chemo. Um, and if you know whatever else that might be open, um, I still recommend the, the CBD, the THC. Um, I do need to get back on it, but with my mental state and the effects that the THC is having on me, it's not right for me at the minute. Fembenzadol. A lot of people have mentioned that, and yes, I've used that throughout this most of this entire journey, along with. Um, a lot of other stuff, iron, woodworm, lion's mane, um, fucking hell, there's, there's so much, have a look through my, one of my other videos, it's called Leo Myers Sarcoma Medication Walkthrough or something like that, um, I, I list quite a lot of stuff on there, a bit of an old, older video so it will be quite far down, um, so generally speaking, other than the absolute fucking shit news this morning <coughs> I'm feeling a bit fucking flat as it, as it is um, aside from that I, I wasn't too too bad uh, physical wise oh yesterday um, me and Bex actually walked uh, two miles to pick the, the kids up from uh, from daycare I couldn't do I couldn't even think about doing that fucking a month ago fucking five six weeks ago I couldn't even think about doing that so um, you know for, for me to be able to do that now was a massive uh, massive thing for me um, it's just it's just it's just mad how quick things can change and how my body has been adapting to things and working and some things are good some things are bad um, eating a lot eating a little feeling sick but generally feeling all right. Uh, the quad's almost done. I've done that. I've, I've even been in the pond. I give that a massive pre-summer clean out. Um, that took me hours, but I couldn't even think about doing that. You know, like I said, five, six weeks ago, whatever it was, I could barely even think about standing up. Um, stretching, my legs would go dead. I, I'm starting to feel like a almost normal person again. So, so that's great. That is really good o on my side. Um, I think I'm coming to the end of, of this video because um, I think I've covered everything that I, I possibly can at the minute. I, I probably forgot a lot of shit with w what's fucking going on in this box at the minute. But um, yeah, I'm going to... Um, leave this here but I, I think um, in the near future like we did for James me raising awareness of cancer um, I'm going to speak to maybe Ari's family and see if uh, they would like to do or me to do uh, another sponsored Humber, walk, Humber Bridge walk which is obviously just over a mile each way um, in memory of Harry and all proceeds will be donated to his family for whatever they want to do with it um, like I said we did it last time for James uh, we lit a firework we did it we had we got it on video 
Um, there is actually a video on my YouTube of the, of the Humber Bridge walk somewhere. Um, Jesus. Um, at the time of doing that, Harry was with us. Uh, he actually walked. He, he walked it all with us, with his mum. Uh, was he, I think his mum, his brother. I don't know if his dad was with us as well. I can't remember. Um, which again, I didn't know that I had a broken or fractured back at the time, but I managed it. Harry managed it. We all managed it. There was there was there was a good turnout of people, and it was it was lovely. Um, certainly raised a lot of awareness. A bit of money, I can't remember what, what it was we did with it or it was donated or, or whatever happened. I can't remember. But um, that's certainly something I'd like to do. Um, obviously to put it to his family first and, and see what we can arrange. Depending, uh, you know, what they feel like. Or, you know, in a, in a future maybe, near future, whatever. So um, I'm going to go back into this time for play with Becky. And the kids are in there. I need to paint a smile on my face and pretend that nothing's really bothering me. Although, like I said, I'm fairly fucking numb. I can't really feel properly or, or as I'd expect to at the minute. So it's it's a bit easier to be a dad. My husband to support her a bit. You know, she's doing fucking amazing. You know, I, I couldn't ask for much more from her. She does everything she can for me. So, um, I'm going to stop this here, go inside, um, I will stick the few other bits up that I said throughout this video, I might need to rewatch it to remember what I'm doing, but, uh, yes, I will, I will, uh, hopefully be back on soon, I don't quite know when, I say, uh, I say I'm going to do videos and, and this and the other and something fucking happens or I'm not very fucking well or whatever but I will be back I will do all I can um, I would like to dedicate this video to Harry and his family I won't mention his last name I'm sure a lot of people who uh, know who he is if you, if you watch my videos on in your you know local or, or you've seen my other videos whatever um, nails are getting better I forgot to mention them still a bit funky but getting better so uh, yeah, this video dedicated to Harry, um, rest his soul, true warrior, inspiration to many, uh, sleep tight mate, true warrior, big part of uh, Luke's army, so uh, yeah.